The present situation of the camp, I can describe it as a humanitarian emergency, with the fact that peop large number of people living outside of the camp with no proper security, no proper shelter, no adequate water, no sanitation, and with no clear future whether they are staying here or will be moved to, to another place. People are coming from Somalia in huge numbers right now due to drought and insecurity. And they, there's no room for people in the camps. They're congested and overflowing, and so people are settling themselves here outside the camp. Uh, I think there's well over 8,000 people out here. Due to lack of water, they have poor hygiene. Due to lack of food, uh, we find a lot of malnutrition here. So these are really the most vulnerable group of refugees that we have right now. Can they come to the health post this afternoon? My. He does. Okay, good. Okay. And you're the mama? Okay. Come on, let's go. Come on. Okay. This little boy is extremely malnourished. Looks like he has probably some other medical issues. And I'm just going to look in his mouth right now because he's bleeding and I want to see why. Come on. Ninety percent of these patients are people who've come to the camp in the last three months, meaning they are all new arrivals. It's, it's a big burden uh, now. And even uh, in terms of health education is a major challenge uh, because these are people who have not been exposed to any health care system uh, for the last 20 years. As MSF, we're trying our best with the little we have, trying to save lives, uh, reduce the mortality. Uh, we have the staff, but sometimes it's a challenge because we don't know the new arrivals when they will stop coming. I visited the new arrivals area last week, and uh, when I talked to one of the elders, he said uh, the relatives who are in Somalia have told him to get them a space near where he will settle. So that means more and more people are coming. In the next few months, if we get more new arrivals, there will be a crisis.